Hello, dotties. Long time no see, I know. So this video is going to be showing you what my current wallet is. Um, I recently went to Vroman's. Um, I live in California, for those of you who don't know. So Vroman's is a bookstore that carries Filofax. Um, and they had a clearance sale. And I happened to find this beautiful Filofax there. It is a classic mini. Um, as you can see, it's already getting, you know, some wear and tear. This is where it folds, so it's getting a few wrinkles, but I don't really mind. Um, I had found that I could not, for the life of me, find any uh, credit card holders for the mini. So I was struggling to figure out what to do. So I went out and I kind of jimmied my own. And they look really, really messed up. So I'm just going to show you quickly. This is what I originally came up with. Um, I just found some generic ones, cut them up, taped them back to back. And apparently it took a few tries to figure out where the holes should be. Uh, needless to say that I thought it looked really ugly and I wasn't happy. But it was working until I could find a better solution. I found a video on YouTube and if I can remember to find it again, I will link it in the information bar. So this person had used some horizontal badge ID holders at, that she had bought at Walmart. I, however, could not find the same ones. Um, she got lucky, I guess, because hers were a 12 pack for 188 unfortunately that was like a year before I started looking so I hopefully you don't get too much glare I found these at office max they are a 10 pack for the horizontal badge ID holders and they were $4.99 let me show you what one of them looks like this is what they originally look like and after I was done hacking them up this is what they look like now so I cut them long ways to the size that I wanted to fit my mini and then I hole punched them down the side and then I cut the top to roughly a little bigger than the card and then I just did it like a half circle punch so that it would be easier to pull out my cards if I needed to so I have a few of those in here um, normally I have my ID in the front, but you know, for safety precautions, I've put in a credit card. Um, normally I carry cards here and a few cards in here. Let me show you what it looks like where there is nothing in it. So this is what it looks like when there's nothing in. Um, the ones back here are from Filofax and they're not card holders, they're side loading pockets. So this is how I currently use my wallet. I literally only carry cards in here. Occasionally I will put in coupons into the side loading ones, um, just stuff that I know I'm not going to be using all the time but that I need to have with me. And I like the side loading ones because I don't have to worry about um, it falling out of the top if I accidentally put this upside down. Uh, for those of you who don't know what the classic looks like, okay, so here's the classic. And it has the three pockets here. It has a small pocket here. It has a, um, sorry, not a pocket there. It has a zipper pocket here. Um, I don't really carry that much change. Maybe, um... A few coins but as you can see or I don't know if you can see there's like a little indentation starting to form so I don't really like the idea of carrying coins in there and then there's a large pocket in the back um, if I have cash which is not usually the case it would go back here um, right now I have movie tickets in here that hubby and I plan to use hopefully soon and normally I carry my small pen in here um, but that is in this one because I'm, this is the one I was going to show originally so there's my beautiful classic mini 
going to put this one aside. Um, I had someone ask me about a pocket size. I had posted these pictures on the California Planner Addicts group on Facebook, um, which I'm leading by the way. And if any of you are in California and are interested in joining, please go ahead and look for us on Facebook. Okay, so I had bought these as well at that clearance uh, the Romans had. So I did kind of a mock-up in the pocket size. I actually used the same idea with the badge holders, but I used the vertical badge ID holder. And these are the same type of material as the other one, except that these are top-loading. You can see that right here. Top-loading. So, um, I thought it was the perfect size width-wise. It was just a little too big height-wise, at least for me. I didn't really want it to compete with my Today Ruler on here. So, I just, you know, sliced off a little. And because they already have this really nice kind of curve to it, I didn't have to punch it with my circle. So, here's how I would use, if I was using a pocket, as a wallet. I would have my IDs, of course they're not in here because they're in my, uh, they're in my actual wallet, but. Um, so here's the pen that I carry in my Winnie. It, I love it because it's a stylus, which is great to use with my Galaxy S5. Or anything else, and it's a great pen. Um, I believe I got this one of Romans 2, and it is, I believe it's a generic Romans pen. So, this is a pocket sketch, for those of you who don't know. Um, the sketch has two ID card slots here, and a big pocket in the back, and then it has two smaller pockets. Um, I haven't really quite found what I would put in here. I know that it fits the small post-its. Um, however, I don't carry those in here. Okay, so for now I've just put in some extra sheets of paper back here. Or you could put two ID cards kind of vertical versus the horizontal. And then um, here are the ID card holders that I made, or the credit card holders that I made. You know, I just put a few cards in there. And then, because this is a little bit bigger, I can get away with actually putting more things other than what I carry in here. I just find this is too small to put anything else in there. And really, when I take this with me, I just want to take this and my cell phone and be done with it and, you know, go where I'm going. However, since this is bigger, I would put the A through Z and I would use it as an address book just in case something happens to my phone I have it in paper form and I won't lose it hopefully okay and then I was using this size as a wallet before but it was more like a shopping slash wallet so I had um my meal plans behind one tab I had grocery lists behind the other tab I had a list of the things that I would buy most often in the next tab and it was like a price book so I would price it every so often at the different stores and then I would have a list of stores that I would frequent and um, addresses, phone numbers, that type of thing. And then a list of my favorite family meals. And then back here, oh, well right now I have a, a map, but I would have extra sheets of paper, but I would also have a top loading, actually a few top loading envelopes and I would put all my coupons in there so one tab would be for coupons and I would put the coupons that I needed for our shopping trip in there and then either put in some bigger coupons that wouldn't fit in here in here or when I used to have a smaller phone 
I would put the phone in the back and then that would be ready for my shopping trip and you know toss this into a small purse and get ready and go so this is my mock-up wallet for those of you who wanted to see what a pocket size one would be um, the sketch does not have the big pocket on the top for money unfortunately so I don't know that I would be able to carry any money in this one unless I'm putting it back here and that's totally possible you can you can slip in you know some dollars in here fold it in half whatnot put it in here or you can put it in this back pocket here um, however I find that these pockets are really hard to get to so I usually carry things that I know I'm not gonna need to get to very fast things that you might use only like a few times a year or a few times a month um, so that is my pocket sketch as a wallet at least the mock above it and you've seen my beautiful classic mini that I currently do use as a wallet let me know if you um, like this video if you have any questions if you want to see something else um, I do have a few other videos that you can watch um, you can look at my history Please don't forget to like, to subscribe, leave comments, um, thumbs up, don't forget the thumbs up. Okay, thank you and don't forget to follow the dots.